welcome to this month's episode of What's for Dinner. I'm not in my kitchen again, as you can clearly see. I'm actually in the kitchen of my home, the home that I grew up in, that at the time that you're seeing this may no longer be with the family. I don't exactly know. I'm filming these episodes early, as you all know. But I thought while I was home this one time, I would make something in the kitchen, since I've never made a What's for Dinner episode here. So why not make something in the kitchen? And what I decided to make was pretty much a grilled chicken recipe that my dad made when my sister and I were younger. And it's really simple. It's chicken thighs put on a barbecue grill. There's really nothing to it. There's some barbecue sauce, there's really no spices. We didn't use a whole lot of spices growing up. So it's very simple, very straightforward. I have a plate of chicken thighs here that I'm going to rinse off and put in this bowl. And then we're going to relocate outside onto our porch where our grill is and we'll grill these up and then uh, we have some sides. We're going to have some pierogies and some green beans with these as well. So my dad specifically said that when you rinse off these thighs you want to open them up like this. So I'm going to turn the water on here. Bring them both close and we're just going to run them down like this. I'm going to leave all the fat on because that's what it needs to cook and then just put it in the bowl like so. There might be a dozen or so here, so I think what I'll do for the rest of this portion is how about a time lapse? So here's a time lapse. Okay, we've relocated to the grill. Can you turn this down at all or does it have to be this hot? I just feel the heat coming off it. It's pretty hot. Yeah, that's okay. because it's been closed and oh, it's been running okay. for a while. So I can open it now. Yeah. I haven't used this grill in a while, or a grill. This is what, our fourth? Oh, we got a spray. Should I stand yeah, back? a little bit. Okay. I don't need a whole lot either. All right. Wait, is this side lit? Yes. Okay, because there's no flame. It's, yeah, it's hard yeah. to see. All right, and then all you really do is just take, take your tongs, and you just take the chicken, and you're going to lay it gently on your grill. Move them back more. All right, they're closing. I'm just gonna let them, I'm gonna let them hang out in there for a little bit. And I think, can we let them grill for a bit and then put barbecue sauce? How does that work? Okay, cook both sides and they're cooked a little bit and then put barbecue, put barbecue sauce. sauce. Okay. We'll be back when it's time for some, well actually we'll be back, I'll bring, I'll bring it back when it's time to do some flipping. Okay, I've adjusted the scene a little bit just so you can see a little bit about what's going on here because I didn't, wasn't sure if you could see it too well. So we're going to do a flip now. We're going to flip these. Oh, don't move that. Don't try to push out to the top there if you get it. Okay. Up here? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, getting some fire show here. And lost a little piece there. Save you. All right, so that's the first flip. All right, close this up, and we'll be back again to either flip them again or put barbecue sauce on them. All right, we're gonna do another check on them here, see if we're ready to have barbecue sauce on them. Do another flip on a couple of these. All right, I'm gonna start putting sauce on. Now you do both sides, so any kind of barbecue sauce will do. This I think is what, Sweet Baby Ray's. And be generous with it. I think what I'll do now is we'll do a time lapse. All right, so another five or so minutes have passed. We're gonna go and flip them over to the opposite side and do the same thing that we did with this side. Flip them over gently. We've reduced the heat just a tad. All right, and then the same thing on this side. Don't wanna leave these guys out. So that just about does it for these. And I think that over the next few minutes here, as these finish grilling, we'll wrap up and then we're gonna plate them up for dinner. And this is pretty much it. Okay, we're getting down to the wire here and I had an idea. This is not originally how these were done, but I thought about adding some cheese to these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these one more time. We're gonna let the, sub, the barbecue sauce that I just put on cook in a bit. And then after another, if I can get this one to flip, after another, I don't know, maybe two minutes or so, I'm gonna put the cheese on and then I'm gonna turn the grill off and let the cheese melt 
and then we're going to have our meal. So let that sit for a little bit yet, and then I have some cheddar and some mozzarella. I'm only gonna do half, just in case somebody, either whoever wants to eat doesn't want cheese. I'm gonna do two with cheddar and three with mozzarella, and then the rest will stay plain. And uh, that's about all. So we'll be back when it's time to put the cheese on them. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. We're gonna put some cheese on these. Take the cheddar first. And, oh, hold on. Turn these off. Alrighty, close these up, let that melt. And then the next time you see it, we'll be putting them in a bowl to serve them up. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. I'm checking on them now. Uh, they're looking very good. So I'm good. what I'm gonna do now, is we're gonna take tongs, put these little bits in first, and then we'll take the ones that don't have chill. That one just almost fell. Don't fall. There we go, save that one. And then I'm gonna take the ones that don't have cheese on them, put these in next. And then we'll put the ones with cheese, hopefully I don't scrape it all off, on the top. And that's that. That's our chicken. So we're going to go plate this up with the rest of our food, and we're going to enjoy dinner. So let's go do that. Here's something we don't see a lot of anymore. Family dinner. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we're going to try this chicken. So let's give it a whirl. Go ahead, guys. Ah. Let's see what this is like. Crispy. Crispy? Is that a good thing? That's a good thing. Okay. Yep. Who had the cheesy ones? So I did. I like the cheese. I do like the cheese on it. Oh, yeah. There's a little more something something mm -hmm. on it. Chickeny. Yep. It tastes exactly. Mm. It tastes exactly how I remember it from when you would make it mm -hmm. years ago. So, all right. Well, thank you all for watching this episode of What's for Dinner. If you have any recipes that you'd like me to make on camera, leave them below in comments. Do you have any recipe ideas, maybe, on camera? Just say. You want to try the uh, chicken alfredo? You know, that yeah, she makes a good chicken alfredo that is not planned for this particular set of What's for Dinner, but maybe I'll think about doing in the future. Mm -hmm. So, but until next time, take care, God bless, and we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. All right, food time. Don't forget Ooh. to turn the camera off. This has got a kick. Yeah, you're not smell, to it. smells got a kick to it.